there everyone, it's Val and welcome to the first end of the day tour for the ferret business, the labors of Valentine and friends. And yes, I've decided to be a bird. Well, only because I can fly. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and it looks like Gory has killed a golem because now he can become one. Right, so we've got our basic base set up here. We've been busy, busy bees, and we have all decided to become a murder of, of ravens or crows. Except for Gore, who isn't. Right, so let's just uh, pop in. It's very, very tight quarters, as you can see. We're all kind of packed into one little room. We do have our smeltery set up. And I believe Gore has just pillaged a village. Which is why he can become a golem. And apparently he kidnapped the golem as well. I see. <laughs> and we have a little mine going down here. Actually, it's just really caves. And we still have to find just the right spot for our permanent base. Uh, we did go into the nether and we... Agore created the gates so that we can actually fly. Because until you go to the nether for the first time, you cannot fly. And the backstory. How did we get into this world? Trapped with only each other for company. Hopefully we won't end up killing and eating each other, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyway, how did we get here? Well, apparently we volunteered to be ferret um, test subjects. And they put us in an experimental teleporter. Which teleported us here. Which is all well and good. The problem is... Uh, they can't get us back. So they are communicating with us through their quest tablet. And, of course, we will be doing jobs and whatnot for them. And they actually have a shop where we can buy things. And so basically they're going to help support us by us sending them goods. So really, what we are is indentured slaves who can't leave. But they don't call it that. <clears throat> so perhaps one day we can build enough equipment to go back and have a sharp and pointed discussion with them about the wisdom of teleporting people to places when you don't know that you can get them home again. <laughs> but there are some really cool things in this mod pack that I wanted to show you that we did get to do today. And let me just switch myself. Ta-da! I am now a cat with purple wings because I want to be. We do what we're getting to. Well, maybe you did, but they lied to me, I swear. They did not say anything about this. All right. Anyway, I... This is cool. I really like the ears and the wings and the tail because, well, I'm a cat at heart. And the way that you can do those things for yourself is with the Tails Editor in the main game menu. And you come in here and you select which tail you want and you muck about with the colors and you can change the things that you want. So if we are changing the tail, for example, I could go here and give myself, hopefully this doesn't reset my colors, nine tails. But that's a little excessive. I think I will stick to my single cat tail. And you just hit the edit button for whichever color you're changing. This is for, at least on the cat tail, the stripes. This color is for the top of the tail and the sides. This color is for the underneath of the tail. When you're talking ears, going from back to front, that's the back, because you can see the color there. Actually, no, is that right? Actually, uh, that's right, because I'm not looking at the ears. There we go. So now you can see back, middle, and front, because the front is the darkest. Now, for the, the wings, I did notice that only these two colors seem to have an effect. This is the primary color, and this is just the edges. Uh, the white one, the middle one, does not seem to affect any of the colors. But you can pick small wings, or, like me, large wings. I actually would prefer wings that were intermediate, but if I have to pick one, I'm picking the bigger wings. But unfortunately, they are purely cosmetic and you cannot fly with them, which is unfortunate because I'm now on the top of a tree. 
And what the heck is that noise? That's Gore, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Go away. Shoo. Get away from me. All right. I think I'm going to go back into a form that can fly so I don't fall to my doom. Well, I mean, I still may fall to my doom, but I'm less likely to. Right. So that's what we got done today. It's been a lot of fun, and, uh, well, we're going to be, hopefully, setting up a more permanent base, at least the beginnings of it, next stream. We'll see how that goes, and I hope... You enjoyed this end of the detour, and I hope to see you in the stream sometime. Y'all. Vori says, want to see your specter world. Can I go there? Okay, we're... End of the detour has been paused. Or, sorry, the end of the end of the detour has been paused. You can teleport to me. Okay, but I don't have a way to get to said world. <laughs> and I thought they were personal worlds. Doesn't that mean I can't go to your world because it's your... Oh, you teleported me to you. I see. Oh. Um, light blue specter blocks. Oh, I see. So you're setting up your Batania stuff in here so nobody else can use it. <laughs> Very nice. Does this stay loaded all the time? Actually, is it... I just thought of that. I don't know if it does or not. And how do I get out of here? That's true. The day blooms would have died already. So it doesn't stay loaded. Okay, good to know. And you have a, a stuffed wolf, which I guess marks it as being your place. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you for showing me, showing me your specter world. So yes, you can make a specter key. When you kill things occasionally, you have a, basically a ghost, a little blue box or cube that flies around, which is a really pain, pain in the posterior to kill unless you can trap it. But the Spectre Key can be made with a Spectre Iron, which requires Ectoplasm plus an Iron Ingot. So they're pretty easy to make, which is cool. Alright, yes, and Gory did make two farms. Gory made uh, the pumpkin farm here, which is sustaining us with seeds. Soup, that is. Um, and of course, uh, I don't know if this counts as the second farm or not. <laughs> Because <laughs> he also got, he also made uh, over there a larger farm for uh, sugarcane. Anyway, I made this tiny little farm of seeds. There's a bug on the ground. And we went to the Twilight Forest as well, which I forgot to mention, and um, collected up some deer, uh, which I, I guess I actually the one that went to collect the deer. And uh, we are breeding them for leather so we can make backpacks. And I also made the uh, smeltery, in case I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> but everybody worked on getting the materials for making said smeltery, so it really is a group project. Okay, I think I've covered everything now. <laughs> Woohoo! End of the first day! <laughs> End of the first day tour. Okay, I think I've gotten everything. So thank you guys. Oops. Thank you guys very much for watching. I think I'm finished now. So you guys have an excellent day or a night or afternoon or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>